Hiya, Johnny. Thanks for joining us. Uh, just a few from me. Last time you fought at Wembley, it wasn't such a bad night for yourself on the World Boxing Super Series card. I've heard you talk yeah. about Wembley Arena as the lion's den for you. How nice is it to be going back there and so many happy memories there? Yeah, that's exactly it, mate. It's just a shame there's no fans because, I mean, I came out um, two fights before George Groves last time, so the place was packed. So uh, it couldn't have worked out better if I tried. Um, but, yeah, no, so it's a buzzing go back. Like I said, I've got some good omens there. So, yeah, buzzing to get back in there. One thing I wanted to ask you about, Johnny, is actually away from the fight. I wanted to ask you what it's like juggling a professional boxing career with owning your own business as well during a pandemic, especially. What's that like for you? And moving house. Uh, it's been an absolute menace. But I, I mean, I mean, like Eddie, 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 Namey, Johnny Mental Phillips. I love everything a million miles an hour. If it wasn't like this and everything at once, I wouldn't like it. So um, I actually prefer everything to be chucked at me at, at once. I sort of deal with it quite well, to be honest. So, now, I've had, um, well, it's been four weeks I've had notice now. So, I mean, we're pretty much there. We're away. We're on fit. I feel like I've had a full camp, you know. So, um, yeah, we're just, we're just ready. I just can't wait to get in a bubble. It's annoying um, be, still being here. I'd rather have gone in the bubble today, you know. You said there you are waiting to go in the bubble. You were in the bubble at fight camp last year. You said it yourself that you felt like you were living the dream. How do you reflect on the whole bubble experience and fight camp experience last time? How much did you enjoy yourself? I really enjoyed it. The only odd thing was, like I said um, in my interview before, the um, it's like you have you have breakfast, lunch and dinner with the person you're about to have a tear up with. Is the only weird thing. You see the person you're about to have a, to have, to have a fight with every day, which is the only odd thing. But other than that, I enjoyed it. It was just like a little holiday for me, really. Just to touch on the fight, Johnny, uh, how much have you seen of Ibrahim and what kind of fight do you expect as well this weekend? Uh, I, to be honest, I never, ever watch any of my opponents. I let my coaches do that because they know more than me. Um, and we come up with a little game plan. Um, and we're just going to we're just gonna get in there. I think I'm going to get the job done on this one. I think um, I've had the right amount of time um, to get the weight off I me. Mean, last time I had to cut so much in such a short time. And I hadn't been in the... Because it was the first lockdown, the last fight. I hadn't been in the gym that much. No, I haven't left the gym since that fight, really. So um, I'm like mentally, I'm ready for everything. So um, I really think it's going to be my night, and then uh, we're going to go out and steal the show. Right, the Johnny, thank you. good luck. I'll pass you on to the other guys. Thank you, mate. Okay, any more questions for, for Johnny before we let him go? Yeah, I've got a few, Dan. Yeah, do you want to jump in, mate? Yeah, no worries. Aims here for Boxing News TV. Pleasure to meet you, Johnny. How's life? Very well, mate. Very well. Good, good. Alongside. Yeah, Alongside balancing the business and boxing, I think you got a puppy as well. Has it got a boxing name? Uh, no, my nickname is is Roger, so I've called him Roger. Roger. Okay, we got we got we got big Roger and little Roger in the house now. So yes, yeah, so I've got a puppy. I've just bought a new house. I'm running a business and I'm fighting on Sky. So I've um I've chucked it all in, all in the same four weeks. So um, but yeah, I'm coping. My hair's still here, so I must be doing something right. <laughs> bit a bit of drama last time, Johnny, on the scales. Fight nearly being off last time. Can we expect yeah. smoother sailing this time round? No, no, no. Like I said, um, the last time where it was that first lockdown, I mean, everyone let themselves go in that first lockdown. And then I got, I had a, literally five days notice. And to lose, I think it was like just under a stone, but I, I managed to get it. Obviously, it was a bit of bitching here and there when we're there, but that's just politics of being in, in, in the bubble. But this time I've had four weeks. I haven't really left the gym since my last fight, since, since which was July. I've been in and out of the gym like at least four times a week. And obviously in the last four weeks, I've been nothing but dedicated. So I'm, we're there. We're ready to go. I mean, that's one wearing my face mask. I've lost all my weight and my cheek. I'm, um, ready to, I'm ready to rock and roll. You said that you don't watch your opponents, but what about your team? How do they rate uh, your opponent, Ibrahim Nadim? What's their take on him? Uh, good amateur, good jab. Um, there's a couple of negative things we've noticed as well, but that's what we've been working on. But um, like I said, I, I um, I sat the same with Hopi. I've got, um, I know he's a, he won the ABA. He's like, I'm never gonna take nothing away from him. There's no bad blood there. He's a good amateur fighter. He's trying to make it in in the program. But again, I think with I think Hope he's a little bit better class wise, and we've had a little bit more time. And obviously, I'm actually stepping down another weight. So, I think I'm going to be a monster in there compared to him. And I think, I just don't think he's experienced enough. I mean, this is my 11th pro fight now. I've been in there with world title contenders, British champions, Commonwealth champions. He's had two fights against two bums and he ain't even stopped them. So, I ain't worried at all. But like I said, it's nothing, taking nothing, nothing away against him because he seems like an all right fellow and he, he's done good for amateur boxing. But I think I'm going to smash his face in for him. 
Eddie's got you back on off of the back of that last fight. We're expecting to be back on another card again so soon. Like, had you had that conversation with Eddie to get you back on? Uh, there was sort of conversation in when before I actually signed the contract for the Hopi fight that basically if I took the fight, they um, they might give me some more fights. And I think where a lot of people ripped me off in that fight because I had short notice and Hopi being the the excellent fighter he is, everyone thought I was going to get stopped. And I think I think if I got stopped. I wouldn't be in today. I thought, I think having five days notice, managing to, in my mind, nicking a couple of rounds and giving him a rough fight and holding my own, I think that's why he's, he's got me back. And yeah, I ain't the most boring fighter in the world. So if you if you win or you keep being in fights where maybe you don't get the win, but you keep kind of bringing it, are you going to keep getting on these shows then? Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. That's the plan. I said um, to Eddie last time in my interviews, I said, uh, I'm not. I'm not in this game for no money, no fame, nothing. I'm in it for glory. I want. I just love to fight. And I want a belt, any belt, English belt, IBS, something. I just want a, a strap on my waist, just something to leave, leave the, uh, leave the game with, you know. So that's what I'm hungry for. So I, I'm fully confident. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win um, Saturday, and then hopefully maybe get a shot at a little title somewhere. No matter what it is, I just, I want, just want a bit of metal around my waist. Pleasure speaking to you, Johnny. All the best. Thank you, mate. Cheers, bro. Bye. No Johnny, really appreciate your time, mate. We'll let you go up and uh, we'll see you in the bubble later this week, mate. No worries. Take care. <laughs>